in Ran Khan. He was born in October 5, 1952, in Pakistan. Famous cricket player, politician, philanthropist, and prime minister of Pakistan, who became a national hero by leading Pakistan's national team to a Cricket World Cup victory in 1992, and later entered politics as a critic of government corruption in Pakistan. He had numerous relationships during his bachelor life. He was then known as a hedonistic bachelor, and a playboy who was active on the London nightclub circuit. Any girlfriends are unknown and were called mysterious blondes by British newspaper The Times. Some of the women he has been associated with include Cnet Mann, Emma Sargent, Susie Murray Philipson, Cedar White, Sarah Crowley, Stephanie Beecham, Toldy Hahn, Christine Backer, Susanna Constantine, Marie Helvin, Caroline Kellett, Lisa Campbell, Anastasia Cook, Hannah Mary Rothschild, and Lulu Blacker. Han had a notable relationship with the heiress, Cita White, daughter of the British industrialist Gordon White. They remained in the relationship for about six years, having met in 1987-88. White claimed that Khan agreed to have a child with her in 1991, and her daughter, Tyrion Jade, was born in June 1992 in Los Angeles. White claimed that Khan subsequently refused to accept Tyrion as his child because she was a girl and had urged White to have an abortion. Tyrion was noted for her resemblance to Khan. A court in Los Angeles ruled that Khan was the girl's father in 1997. In 2004, after Cedar White's death, Khan agreed to accept Tyrion as his child and welcomed her into his family. On the 16th of May 1995, Khan married Jemima Goldsmith in Paris. A month later, on the 21st of June, they were married again in a civil ceremony at the Richmond Registry Office in England. She converted to Islam upon marriage. The couple have two sons, Suleiman and Qasim. On the 22nd of June 2004, it was announced that the couple had divorced, ending the nine-year marriage because it was difficult for Jemima to adapt to life in Pakistan. In January 2015, it was announced that Khan married British-Pakistani journalist Reham Khan in a private ceremony at his residence in Islamabad. However, Reham Khan later states in her autobiography that they in fact got married in October 2014, but the announcement only came in January, the year after. On the 22nd of October, they announced their intention to file for divorce. In late 2017, reports emerged that Khan had married his spiritual mentor, but members of the Manika family denied the rumors. Khan termed the media unethical for spreading the rumor, and PTI filed a complaint against the news channels that had aired it. On the 7th of January 2018, however, the PTI Central Secretariat issued a statement that Khan had proposed to her, but she had not yet accepted his proposal. On the 18th of February 2018, PTI confirmed Khan has married to Bushra. According to Khan, his life has been influenced by Sufism for three decades, and this is what drew him closer to his wife. He was educated at elite schools in Pakistan and England, including the Royal Grammar School in Worcester and Aitchison College in Lahore. There were several accomplished cricket players in his family, like Majid Khan, who also served as captain of the Pakistani national team. Imran Khan played cricket in Pakistan and the United Kingdom in his teens and continued playing while studying philosophy, politics, and economics at the University of Oxford. Khan played his first match for Pakistan's national team in 1971, but he did not take a permanent place on the team until after his graduation from Oxford in 1976. By the early 1980s, Khan had distinguished himself as an exceptional bowler and all-rounder, and he was named captain of the Pakistani team in 1982. Khan's athletic talent and good looks made him a celebrity in Pakistan and England, and his regular appearances at fashionable London nightclubs provided feed for the British tabloid press. After 1992, Khan acted as the primary fundraiser for the Shawkat Khanum Memorial Cancer Hospital, a specialized cancer hospital in Lahore, which opened in 1994. The hospital was named after Khan's mother, who had died of cancer in 1985. 
He founded his own political party, Pakistan Tariq e and Saf, in 1996. In national elections held the following year, the newly formed party won less than 1% of the vote and failed to win any seats in the National Assembly. In the 2002 elections, winning a single seat that Khan filled, Khan maintained that vote rigging was to blame for his party's low vote totals. In October 2007, Khan was among a group of politicians who resigned from the National Assembly protesting Musharraf's candidacy in the upcoming presidential election. In spite of the PTA's struggles in elections, Khan's populist positions found support, especially among young people. He continued his criticism of corruption and economic inequality in Pakistan and opposed the Pakistani government's cooperation with the United States in fighting militants near the Afghan border. Before 2013 elections, Khan and his party drew large crowds at rallies and attracted the support of several veteran politicians from Pakistan's established parties. Further evidence of Khan's rising political fortunes came in the form of an opinion poll in 2012 that found him to be the most popular political figure in Pakistan. In 2013, elections produced the PTI's highest totals yet, but the party still won less than half the number of seats won by the Pakistan Muslim League, led by Nawaz Sharif. Khan accused Sharif of rigging the elections. After his calls for an investigation went unmet, he and other opposition leaders led four months of protests in late 2014 in order to pressure Sharif to step down. The protests failed to oust Sharif, but suspicions of corruption were amplified when the Panama Papers linked his family to offshore holdings. Khan organized a new set of protests in late 2016, but called them off at the last minute after the Supreme Court agreed to open an investigation. The investigation disqualified Sharif from holding public office in 2017, and he was forced to resign from office. Elections were held the following year, in July 2018. Khan ran on a platform of fighting corruption and poverty even as he had to fight off accusations that he was too cozy with the military establishment. The PTI won a plurality of seats in the National Assembly, allowing Khan to seek a coalition with independent members of the parliament. He became prime minister on August 18th. During his tenure, Khan continued to face opposition for his close relationship with the military establishment his crackdown on militants, and the fragile state of the economy. In late 2020, the major opposition parties formed a coalition, the People's Democratic Movement. Protests and rallies organized by the PDM accused Khan of being a puppet of the army and called on him to step down. In March 2021, these parties boycotted a vote of confidence initiated by Khan's government, which he survived narrowly with the support of his coalition partners. Later that year, Khan fell out with the military establishment after a failed attempt by Khan to influence its top posts. As frustrations rose over sustained inflation, the opposition moved in March 2022 to hold its own vote of confidence. Key allies of the PTI withdrew from the ruling coalition, and several members of the party also defected. The vote was held. And on April 10th, Khan became the first prime minister in Pakistan's history to be removed by a no-confidence measure. Dear viewers, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for more interesting video. Till then, take care of yourself.